The mirror modifier reflects geometry across a chosen axis by creating a copy of the mesh on the other side, mirroring it perfectly. This means that any changes made to one side will be mirrored to the other side as well. This is useful when you want to duplicate objects along an axis like eyes or a jelly sausage, but also when creating symmetrical objects by deleting half of the model and using the mirror modifier with clipping and merge turned on. This can be automated with the auto mirror add-on, which is one of the few essential add-ons you need. So make sure to turn it on by going into Edit Preferences Add-ons. By default, the mirror modifier uses the object's origin as the base. By utilizing this, you can control exactly how the mirroring will take place. Note that the transform also plays a role. So if your mirror doesn't want to work the way you want it to, try applying the rotation by pressing Ctrl A. When mirroring, there are of course some things you must pay attention to. The mirror function in sculpt mode works differently than the modifier. While the mirror modifier creates a virtual copy of your mesh, the mirroring in sculpt mode mirrors the actions performed on your mesh, which is considered a destructive workflow. However, sculpting with the mirror modifier will destroy your mesh. Mirrored models look very boring, so consider to add asymmetry by adjusting little things on one side. The multi-resolution modifier does not like the mirror modifier when you apply them for export. There is a way to fix this, but this will be covered in the multi-resolution modifier video. So always apply the mirror modifier and use the sculpt mode mirroring. 